I suck at failing at stuff. I guess it sounds kind of weird to say that I fail at failing, but I'm such, like, I'm a bad loser when it comes to games, and I guess I just have a really big ego that can't stand not being the best. And it sounds pretty bad because, you know, I'm secretly a pretty cocky person, and I don't really like to admit that, but it's kind of true because I'm kind of used to being the best and used to getting what I want, and I think that being a youngest sibling doesn't help that either. But I have a really hard time dealing with it when I lose at something or when I don't do as well at something as I would like. So I do not deal well with it when I fail at something. For I will tell you a couple of examples. So first of all, uh, when I took my driver's test last August, I failed. I failed right away. It's actually a funny story. I got to the testing place, realized that I forgot my license, so I was really upset about that because like I'm a stupid head who forgot my license on the day of my driving test. Then it turned out so a guy at the testing center recognized me from somewhere and got me a one hour permit uh, so I could do my test. So I went from going like, oh my god, I'm the stupid person ever to like, okay, go do your test. And I was like, <sighs> so yeah, I failed on the parallel parking right away. I was fine for the remainder of the test. And then once I got back to my mom, she was driving me home, I burst into tears and I was so upset. So upset. And I, some of you may remember, I wrote a very upset blog post because I failed. And that was like, the worst thing that could possibly happen to me, even though that's kind of stupid. Example number two. So uh, this term in university, I wrote a history paper and I thought it was a pretty good paper. And I was betting on it getting at least an A because, you know, that's just kind of my standard of how I do things and typically that's just how they turn out. So I got my paper back and I got a C plus. I was so upset that I went up to the harp room and locked myself in there and um, cried for about 20 minutes. I am not kidding. I'm another thing that I didn't put in my things you may not know about me video. I keep thinking of these things now that it's done. But another thing that I didn't put in there um, was that I'm a super crybaby. So when I can't deal with something, waterworks. That's just how it goes. And yeah, I would have been up there crying probably for a lot longer if I didn't have an appointment that I had to go to right after. Going to university has been a little bit of a check of like, you know, you can't always have a top grade because, you know, you can get the Governor General's Award in high school, but, you know, there's going to be people who are smarter than me in university. Now granted, I still got really good grades, so I've kind of gotten a little better at that this year, you know, being happy with the fact that I got those grades. And I am. I am not upset that there are people out there who got better marks than I did. I promise. The thing that really bugs me about the fact that I'm so bad at failing at stuff is that it makes it so that I'm scared to try stuff because I'm scared of failing. There's tons of like music festivals and competitions that I just don't enter because I don't think that I would be good enough. I don't think I could win. When, you know, it's not really necessarily about winning, it's just kind of about the experience and learning and becoming a better musician because of it. You know, in high school, I never auditioned for Honor Jazz Band because I didn't think that I would be able to get in. And I couldn't deal with it if they thought I wasn't good enough to get in, so I just never tried. So that's one thing that I, I really admire my sister, my older sister Melissa for, because she is not afraid to just try something even though she may not be the best at it. She just takes that, that chance, you know? She's always doing, like, master classes at, uh, you know, the Percussion Arts Festival, and she auditions for all these ensembles, and, like, I just don't, because, you know, what if I don't get accepted? You know, what if I go to this master class and the teacher just, like, puts me down in front of all these people? That would be so embarrassing. Because, I mean, like, I... I'm not good at taking criticism, I'm not good at being rejected, and it's too scary, so I just miss out on things, and that, you know, is kind of not really okay with me, so I've been working on this, you know, trying to accept it when I'm not the best at things, and be happy for other people who are better than me at things, and just try to get out there a little more. I'm gonna try to enter some more music festivals this year, maybe like do master classes or audition for ensembles or whatever and just give it a shot even though it might not go super well so that's going to be a little personal goal for the next little while 
And um, yeah, I'll see you next week. Bye.